Oh, you make me laugh, you guys. Which is good, isn't it? It's better to laugh than cry. It doesn't matter how long I have to prepare. I never feel I'm quite ready. I know the musicians and artists among you will uh, recognize that feeling. Uh, but, you know, better that way than being over-rehearsed. I have to say that. Yeah, Sunbeam. It's got, I've, I tripped myself now. I, I hear Sunbeam. And I think, the weekend is starting. Yay. <laughs> Great to see you all. I hope me ducks and drakes, me monkeys. Looking forward to your presence as always. Oh, a couple of world premieres tonight, and yet again. <coughs> they keep coming. Yes. This first one is uh, it's a track from Missing You, which I have never ever performed live. Not ever, ever, ever. Hi, Liz. Hi, Ron. Welcome back. Good to see you. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. It was written by myself and the wonderful Ed Poole. Right. All righty ho. the real thing off the Missing You CD and uh, we thought we were nearly out of Missing You CDs and we'd have to delete it but then we found an, another box of a hundred. Yay! So there's plenty left for your Christmas shopping. I think all the CDs are still in stock. And so are the tea towels which arrived this weekend. Oh, I never thought I'd get excited about a tea towel. But I am. 
Ah, no. Even though it's early, I feel a haiku coming on. If you're new to this dream, haikus are quite a regular occurrence. Have been over the, uh, I was going to say over the years. Still only months, isn't it? But a lot of them. This is show number 94. Anyway, new to the uh, haiku chair. He's dipped his quill in the ink. First time for a while. Mr. John Chapman, writing in deepest, darkest, dampest Wales. And I grew up in Wales. I don't know. I don't suppose John know that. But um, I feel like he knows me. Let me read it to you. Snake in the mountains breathes fresh air, rejuvenates, returns, fulfilled. Yay! Thank you, John. That's brilliant, that. And it's so true, so perceptive. I am a mountain-loving snake, indeed. I don't know why I'm living in Lincolnshire, really. Oh, I do, yeah. Hi, Sally. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. Lincolnshire's wonderful. There's not a mountain in sight. I do miss the hills, and normally, you know, in the old days, I'll stop using that word normally, but I'll be out and about, you know, I'd be over to the Lake District, I'd be in, at this time of the year, I'd be in uh, Hokkaido, in the, the north of Japan. And there's loads of mountains there. So I am kind of a bit bereft of the mountains. Missing them. Thank you very much, Mr. John Chapman. Snake in the mountains, breathes fresh air, rejuvenates, returns fulfilled. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. I think we can summon Mr. Stuart Collingwood from the vaults and we can play a tune called The Cat. Thank you. 
Oh, Stuart Collingwood. Online, he's Stew Piano. And he's just bought, brought out a new disc. I think it's download only. I downloaded it anyway from Bandcamp. And uh, very fine it is. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. It's called The View. I think it's called The View or View. Anyway, it's top stuff. Some of it reminded me a bit of Keith Jarrett. Mostly solo piano. In fact, it's all solo piano. It's really brilliant. Stew piano. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I do love Lincolnshire, really. When I, grew up, when I was a kid, I grew up in South Wales. And um, plenty of hills down there. And we used to go up to the Brecon Beacons and the Black Mountains and occasionally weekend up in Snowdonia. And my dad got me into... Uh, I think he was responsible for my love of mountains. Well, mostly it was the mountains that were responsible, but he led me gently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we should have the tea towels packaged and ready to go by early next week. Supposed to come tomorrow, ain't they, Sal? Yeah. So. So here's the second world premiere. <coughs> it's not really ready, but we'll give it a go anyway. It's f Fakie's been hard at work because I wanted to play. Um, you know, you just start singing a, a song and you go, I want to do that one, I want to do that one, I want to do my favourite things. And uh, I thought, I don't really want to do it on my own. So uh, I had a word of fakie, knocked on his cupboard door. And uh, here he is with a bit of luck. Fakey Snakey, where are you? Fakey Snakey. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Do you like that one? I hope it's not one that gets on your nerves. <laughs> We're not, not everybody loves Julie Andrews. And anyway, I think it's a cracking tune. Richard Rogers, isn't it? I think. I don't know. I said that like I knew what I was talking about. Rogers and Hart. Yes, Craig, you learn a lot about yourself in the mountains. You can sit in the mountains on your own and ponder what your favourite whiskey is. Or ask yourself why. You've reached this age and not gained any wisdom, like we were talking about last week. I, I only was applying that to myself, by the way. So I started rewriting the lyrics actually to that uh, that song. My favourite things, as you do. Apples, bananas, carrots, and broccoli. Red wine and whiskey and beer makes me wobbly. That's as far as I got them. So it could be like Chinese whispers. You guys do the next two lines. <laughs> Snakey, shut up and get on with it. Talking of uh, crunchy vegetables, I, th I think I mentioned it before. Sorry, Sally, close your ears. But Mrs. Snake has got this condition. It's got a name, but I can't remember the name. But one of you, smarty pants, will come up with it. I know. But she just can't stand certain sounds. Like they make her feel physically ill, and and one of them is food being crunched. And. Uh, you know, in the morning I try to be healthy, in the afternoon I'm sort of still trying to be moderately healthy, then by six o'clock it's all out the window, but one of my healthy morning snacks might be typically perhaps an apple and a raw carrot or something, so you know where I'm going with this. I have to leave the room and find a dark soundproof corner to uh, eat my snack in order to um, keep the relationship on track. Little baby sax can go now. Thank you, honey. Yanagasawa, curved soprano. Very fine instrument. Her work is done for tonight. I'd like to take the sling off as well, but I can't because of my earphones and it, it would go horribly wrong. Not like having things around my neck that I don't need, but bye bye, baby sex. <laughs> Occasionally, I go out and do shows completely on my own, sort of a bit like a venue version of what I do in the studio with you guys. And uh, one of the tunes that I came up with for uh, to play completely solo is called The Dean Street Blues because I performed it first at the uh, wonderful Pizza Express Jazz Club in Dean Street. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the Dean Street Blues. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I was going to say, I don't know if you noticed, you will have noticed, but I kind of started that, got a good swing, you know, a little, little nice trot, little rhythm, and then I realised that one of my keys was stuck. And uh, Ron, you won't have noticed, probably because you're blind. Um, but I was like f fanning around with my hands, trying to unstick the key at the same time as keep some music going. And I say that, Ron, because you and I had a, some dialogue about the ubiquitous sticky G sharp, which happens on every single saxophone in the world, irrespective of what make it is or how well what condition it's in, all that kind of stuff. It's that one there. And it's hard when you to actually find it <laughs> while you're in mid-flow. Anyway, a good workman would never blame his tools, would he, Ron? And this one can have a rest now. Did anybody come up with another line for... Um, the alternative lyric to oh misophonia no no miss op what was it misopnia misophonia something like that anyway hmm. let's do alternate spellings there I wonder if we could get that into my favourite things <laughs> oh dear oh yeah Jane has got a very sensitive uh, ear thing going on doesn't she Kevin, you need a man cave down the bottom of your garden, mate. Hmm, serious. Ah. Here's my wonderful buddy, Helen Watson, lurking in the vaults behind the screen somewhere. Is she? I hope so. I hope so. Snakey! Yeah! Let's sing a song together. Yeah. yeah. Two, three, and. What I love needs, baby. What I love needs, baby. What I love needs, baby. I'll learn more. Kissing. And not so much kissing. I want 
Yes, many claps for the wonderful Helen Watson. Helen Watson dot net, I believe, but seek her out on the net. Helen Watson, fantastic vocalist. If you type that in, Daphne's Flight is a a band of which she is part, as well as being part of BOP Three Burden of Paradise with Bowser, Dave Barry Jr. on the double bass on that lineup. Yay, thanks, Helen. Fantastic. Man, you guys are drinking so hard. Mineral water for me, Kev, please. Or uh, a broccoli spritzer.
you got to love the Barry, haven't you? Grandpa. <laughs> Old Grandpa. Two tunes you had tonight, mate. You better have a lie down now. Go on. You did well. Look, everybody loves you. Look, they're all saying they love you. God, I love the Barry. So, yeah, we had the uh, the Royal We. Sally had the idea for the tea towels with the 50 haikus on. And uh, they sold pretty well. It's about 25, 30 left. And still time to get them before Christmas. And uh, some wonderful haikus that uh, you guys have uh, composed in honour of our getting togethers what we have on the weekend from the snaky den the zen den heonji the temple of peace and calm beaming out to wherever you are whether you're in north yorkshire southampton castleton or brazil or cornwall annie's just joined us you're in cornwall aren't you annie is that why you were late you're on a different time down there aren't you and you're not in any zone at all. You're zoneless. <sighs> Must be great, eh? You can see your friends. <laughs> I'm only joking. Yep, that's my new Barry, Craig. I've had it a year and a half, mate. But it's getting quite tarnished and battered now. It might be two years old, I don't know. It still feels new because my other one was 100 years old. And I bought that one new. <laughs> look, look how so beautiful, isn't it? You can see the snake curling up the bell. My horns are made by Yanagasawa, wonderful family-run company in the north of Tokyo. And uh, our wonderful supporter and poet, Pat from Ghoul, has written a haiku about Buying the haikus. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> Here it is. This is the, to describe the experience that you tea towel owners will are looking forward to. When drying dishes take time to read a haiku. Smile and carry on. Yes. This is so good. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. <coughs> I like that you have to make, you, not make, you have to give your apologies when you're late. So, come on, man, the party started at seven. It's good. I'll remind you next next week. <laughs> right, it's all dancey from here on. So, caution to the wind, but try not to spill your drinks.
hard to handle by the great Otis Redding. That was uh, off an old album that's John Ellis, Johnny Ellis on the keyboards, Errol Roberts on the drums, Stevie Williams on the bass, Mark Cresswell on guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the fact that we've produced the Zen t- towel does not mean you need to stop writing haikus because there's loads that we couldn't fit on, so there'll probably be a Zen towel too. As long as we cover our costs. Did we, boss? I'll ask the boss. Well, we'll cover our costs if, if you buy a few more. We produced 100. Talking about you and me, hoping that you'll come back to me. I'm lonely as I can be, and I'm waiting for your company, hoping that you'll come back to me. What you gonna do when the well runs dry? You're gonna run away and hide. I'm gonna run right by your side. For you, pretty baby, I'll leave you and die. I'm walking, yes, indeed, I'm talking, yes, indeed. got the ending I usually miss it the small things in life I got the ending I'm walking that's for uh, anybody who's recently had knee replacement surgery it's a tough one the knee replacement isn't it that's why I keep going to Pilates in the hope that I won't have to have all my bits replaced you can dream, can't you? Well, I can't go to Pilates at the moment. <laughs> so I think we've got all our uh, wonderful intros in, or well, most of them, for the hundredth show, which is looming. But not enough singers for Hallelujah, which is going to end the show. Well, it is if you do some singing for me. Come on, I sh- you need to shake with the snake. I know when you sing on your own and you record it. For a little old snakey, it, it sounds all sort of lonely, and but I'll bed it in. It'll be beautiful, a bit of reverb, singing along with everybody else. Come on, come on, give it a go. You know you wanna. It's therapy. Such a wonderful thing, singing. And we can all sing. <laughs> bit of Junior Walker, come on. <laughs> 
Stop gabbing, Snakey. People want to dance. People want to get on the floor. Junior Walker! Thank you, Richard. Looking forward to that. And um, yeah, babies. Yeah, Jen, she was first in, man. First in on the vocals. My hero. Superb. I know you're going to flood me with vocals this week. I'm not afraid. Not in the slightest. Look at me. Looking forward. Bring it on. Oh, hey. Uh, excellent. One for the road, guys. I'll see you Sunday, 7 o'clock. Sieben Uhr. Looking forward to it already. Spread the word. Can't have too many friends. Can't have too many Zen dinners. Zen dinners. Hot dinners. Zen dinners. A hot dinner in the Zen den. One day, as somebody was saying, we will meet, we will dance together, we will hug, we will shake hands, we will embrace and talk about these times when we couldn't. But it won't be as soon as Sunday. So for Sunday, let's do it again like this but a bit more gentle, a bit more calm. We always love hearing from you. And uh, feel free to uh, pay your entrance. 
if you'd like to. Also, feel wonderfully free and easy about being on the guest list, which is totally and utterly cool as well. So, the most important thing is your company, which we love. We're full of respect for you. I am full of respect for the wonderful Helen Watson and the awesome Stu Piano, Stuart Collingwood, and the amazing Joseph Hare, who uh, does all the technical stuff, except the bits that go wrong, which are all my fault. And stupendous Sally Hare, who does so many things and will probably be stuffing tea towels into envelopes this weekend, with a bit of luck, or Monday. <laughs> yeah, we could in theory do a, a trio concert if we weren't in tier three. If we really lived in tier two, we could do, or if somebody booked us who was in tier two, <laughs> we still could. But we've got t trio gigs booked in for the new year, optimistically. There's a few gigs actually coming in instead of going out for the new year. And, you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed and be ever optimistic. Keep dancing, keep dancing. What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I got it. All I'm asking is for a little respect. Just a little bit. Woo just a little bit. When I get home, just a little bit. yeah, baby. Just a little bit. I ain't gonna do you wrong while I'm gone. I ain't gonna do you wrong, cause I don't want it. All I'm asking for is a little respect when I get just home. A little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit, when I get home, just a little bit, I'm about to give you all my money, all of my skin in return, honey, cause if you share out the profits, when I get home, just a, 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 Guess what? So is my money. All I want you to do for me is give it to me when you get home. Respect, just a little bit. Just a little bit. R E S P E C T. I know what it means to me. R E S P E C T. Take care of T C P. Guys and girls, monkeys and monsters, frogs and newts. Many, many, many thanks. Big hugs. See you Sunday, I hope. If we don't see you Sunday uh, next weekend, yeah, same as usual, Friday, Sunday. Maybe talk to you in a week, maybe see you Sunday. Take care. Be kind. Kind to each other.